The Florida Joker is back with yet another series of TikToks. Recently, I covered his entire history of beef with Rockstar Games, and I was almost convinced that the saga had finally ended, but it seems this guy just can't stop. A few days ago, when I checked his TikTok profile, I noticed he had deleted several videos that heavily attacked Take-Two Interactive and Strauss Zelnick. I was like, okay, maybe he's done, but nope. He slaps up a new TikTok looking all tired and dragging out his classic line, GT, we gotta talk. Then it's been pretty quiet for a couple days, then boom, he drops a whole new series targeting the GTA 6 crew. The first video had me cracking up. Seriously, you've gotta see this one. GTA, GTA, we gotta talk. GTA, we gotta talk. GTA, we gotta talk. Take two, we gotta talk. You know, like I wanted five mil. Still want my five mil, it's been five, six months. Still haven't got a response from y'all. Everybody DMing my cameo, yo. Joker, when is GTA 6 coming out? Yo, Joker, are you voicing the character? Yo, Joker, when is Redemption 3 coming out? I don't know. I don't work for Boxstar. I don't work for Take Two. GTA, we gotta talk. I wanted 20 million. I settled for five. It's been five, six months. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Everybody want me to voice the character. I mean, everybody want me to part of the game. So, Take Two, GTA, Rockstar Games. Let's get it. Let's work. Let's give the people what they want. Let it be the face of the game, because I am the face of the game. You know you stole my life. This, my life. Everything. GT, we gotta talk. Let's go. It's been five months with zero peeps from the studio. And honestly, it's looking like a long shot that they'd ever let him voice a character. But guess what? Joker's convinced they've seen his stuff and he keeps hammering them for a response. GTA, GTA, we gotta talk. I know y'all heard me. I know y'all see me. Where my money at? GTA, GTA, we gotta talk. T shirts coming soon. Rockstar, take two. Y'all stop playing with me, man. Stop playing with my intelligence. Where's my money? Oh, you stole my likeness. You stole everything about me. You know that's me in that game, man. Stop playing. Still want my five million dollars. Five million. Yeah. And if you thought his earlier TikToks were off the rails, you've got to check out this one where he switches targets from Rockstar to DC Comics, saying he wants to play the Joker in their next movie. DC, Joker 2, we gotta talk. What is this Ronald McDonald's BS you got going on? What What is this? This is what you're calling the Joker? Man, y'all need to stop playing, bro. Y'all need to get me in the next Suicide Squad movie. Y'all need to get me in the next Joker movie. Everybody knows I'm the real life Joker, bro. Come on, now. You see this? This is garbage. Fake-ass Harley Quinn. They should have got the original Harley Quinn instead of Lady Gaga, Lady Fuga. Bro, come on. What is this nonsense, bro? It look like a Ronald McDonald's commercial in the 80s, man. Y'all need... Man... Joker 2, DC, y'all need to hit me up, man. I need to be in the next Joker movie, bro. Real life Joker in this bitch, man. Stop playing with me, man. Real life Joker in here, man. Real life Joker. Real life Joker. Seriously, what's going on? He's out here accusing Rockstar of stealing his look, but then turns around and does some weird moves complaining about the DC's Joker. It's pretty wild. Shouldn't DC be knocking on his door with a lawsuit for copying their Joker's character? Would be funny to see them sue this guy for looking like the Joker. But yeah, back to his beef with Rockstar. He's pretty determined about not letting them slide. GTA, GTA, we gotta talk. GTA, GTA, we gotta big... Not the freaking crowd. It's been five months. Still no answer. Still no response. I know you had to see me by now. I know you had to hear me by now. What's up? I ain't trying to sue y'all. I know you heard this plenty of times. I'm really not trying to sue y'all. Don't give me five million dollars. Let's do what's right. Let me voice the character. Cause there's no way I'm gonna let y'all slide while giving me some compensation, while letting me voice the character and make some money out of this. Y'all stole my likeness, you stole my livelihood, you stole everything, man. Y'all leaving me with nothing. I'm getting, yo, you that GTA joker, that's fucked up what GTA did to you, man. They should pay you, you should be in the new game. GTA, we gotta talk. And just when you think it can't get any wilder, his latest TikTok is just outright trolling. GTA, GTA, you need to talk. GTA, GTA, Rockstar Games. 
we got to talk. Take two. It's been five months. Everybody's going crazy. G T. We need to talk. Everybody wants me to voice the game. Everybody wants me to play the game. Everybody wants to be a main character in the game. I'm not sure what he's trying to achieve with these videos, and I love how he thinks he's the reason the game is so popular, and he's out there claiming that Rockstar ripped off his look for GTA 6. But hold up, let's break it down. This is how the Florida Joker character looks like in the first trailer, and now let's compare it to the Lawrence Sullivan. There's a lot of differences. They've got different face tattoos, hair color, and honestly, it's more of a parody than a carbon copy. It's like Rockstar's just doing their thing, poking fun at the whole Florida man stereotype and our guy just happens to fit the bill, along with a bunch of other wild characters in their first trailer. If we're going down the road where Lawrence Sullivan considers suing Rockstar for allegedly stealing his likeness because a character in the trailer looks somewhat like him, then by that logic, practically every car manufacturer might as well queue up to take their shot at Rockstar 2. Just take a look at most vehicles zooming around in the world of GTA 5 and the upcoming GTA 6. These rides are essentially rebadged versions of real-life vehicles. Back in the days of GTA 4 and early into GTA 5's life cycle, before the influx of GTA Online DLC vehicles, Rockstar seemed more cautious. The cars in-game were more distinctly different from their real-life counterparts. And not only did I notice this, while looking for information on this topic, I came across an interesting Reddit thread where one of the users was wondering why GTA made the newer vehicles bear a more realistic resemblance to real-life vehicles. And one of the theories is that Rockstar is simply pushing their luck to see how realistic they can make the cars without being hit by a copyright strike. And what's even more interesting interesting. He said to look up Rogers vs. Grimaldi and the Polaroid test for more information on what exactly they test for. These two cases were used by Activision to win a similar lawsuit in 2017. So let me quickly explain starting with the first example. This is a legal case from 1989 where the actress Ginger Rogers tried to sue over a movie title that used her name. The court decided that the movie title was fine because it was related to the movie's artistic story and wasn't trying to trick people into thinking Ginger Rogers was involved or endorsed the film. So the rule from this case is that you can use someone's likeness if it makes sense for your creative work and you're not misleading anyone. Then there's the Polaroid test. This came from a 1961 lawsuit and is used to decide if one brand is too close to another, possibly confusing customers. The test looks at several things like how strong the original brand is, how similar the two brands are, whether customers are getting mixed up, and what the intentions were behind the brand that is being questioned. Activision used these principles to win a lawsuit in 2017. They were sued by Manuel Noriega a former military leader because he was depicted in one of their Call of Duty games. The court sided with Activision, pointing out that the depiction was part of the game's story and wasn't misleading about Noriega endorsing the game. If Sullivan decided to sue Rockstar claiming they copied his look, he'd likely face a tough battle. The studio could argue that any resemblance was just coincidental or part of making the game more engaging and not meant to confuse or mislead players into thinking Sullivan was involved with the game. This kind of creative use is generally protected by law, especially if it's part of telling a story or adding flavor to the game, like with characters in video games. As for the car designs in GTA that look a lot like real cars but with different badges, Rockstar could argue that they've changed enough details to make them new creations, maybe even as a playful nod to the real cars. This approach, especially if it's seen as a parody or commentary, often gets legal protection too.